It's hard to imagine, but this one level ranch behind me is where 189 cats, two dogs and a ferret were found living in filth and various stages of neglect and living alongside eight people, including two kids who were taken into DCF custody. This case now heads to court tomorrow, where we should be able to read the arrest warrants and learn even more. When they were pulling the cats out of there, I was just floored. Ahead of a planned Wednesday arraignment for James and Laura Thoman and their daughter, Marissa O'Brien, Winchester neighbors are speaking out for the first time about the animal hoarders next door. But it depends on who you talk to. He was like a recluse. He never really came out. It's always waved. How you doing? Annette Newman told Fox 61 it's taken a long time of sounding the alarm for somebody to do something. We reported them to the Board of Health at least a half a dozen times over the last 10 years because of the smell. The smell was so bad, she thought it was a septic issue or a drainage problem with a nearby culvert. They have small grandchildren. They want, the first thing those boys want to do is get to the water and play. But we couldn't let them down there because the smell was just, it was awful. But fellow neighbor Victor Duvorg told Fox 61 his thoughts are with the two kids, ages 6 and 10, torn from their home. Definitely a tough spot on any parent and any family member that stepped up to help out with those kids. Within a month of the story breaking in June, all the cats were taken to shelters and dozens were rehomed, including two by town manager Josh Kelly. There was no way that I, I couldn't. Um, seeing the conditions that they were in. The rehabilitation effort was the work of multiple animal welfare agencies, including the animal law advocates of Desmond's Army. Hoarding is 100% repetitive behavior. Zilla Canamella told Fox 61 it's a balancing act between holding somebody accountable under the law and getting them the help they need for a mental illness. We would look for no contact order with animals, no possession order of animals. All three family members are charged with 106 counts of animal cruelty, including two counts of risk of injury to a minor. I'm told that a fourth suspect in this case could be arrested at any moment. And sadly, we also did learn one cat passed away. Reporting in Winchester, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.